Good afternoon, I'm Monice the Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio and we have our final interview for the day and it's been a great day. With me today here is Susan Anderson who is head of global Uber for Business. So Susan, welcome. Hi. Thank Thanks you so for joining much for me. having me. It's been great to be here today, back in person, meeting clients. Um, Absolutely. It's really, really nice to be traveling again. And there's such a nice energy here, I think. Don't you feel it? Absolutely. Just, Just walking around, you can feel the buzz. Yes. It's busy. You can tell people are ready to get back out on the road, meet their clients, um, meet each other. It's been a while since yes. we've all been together. I so. couldn't agree more. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, nice. it's such a nice feeling to be For back sure. here in person. So as we look ahead and look forward, what emerging trends do you see within the business travel industry post-pandemic? I mean, it's been such a time for anybody in the travel industry. But it's interesting. There's two key themes that are coming through. You know, firstly, safety. Our travel managers have all become health and safety experts yes. and we're yes. all pocket uh, uh, pandemic experts as well. Um, but you know, that's going to remain important, I yes. think, both for all of us as businesses as well as our teams and executives as they're traveling. We've got to keep safety absolutely front of mind um, and that's really important at Uber for Business as we think about how do we make sure that we uh, reassure um, around the safety protocols. And then the other thing that's coming through is sustainability. There's been a moment. This is very top of mind for most businesses when they're thinking about their commitments around carbon emissions and how they're going to work to meet those obligations, not just to their, their um, customers, but to their teams. Our teams hold us all accountable now to do a better job on sustainability. So we're seeing some really interesting things in Uber. Uh, we have an Uber green product. Um, in France already, 10% of our business trips are happening on this Uber green product. And we're also seeing a lot of traction across the US and the rest of Europe as well. So we're looking forward to really leaning into that trend, electric vehicles, um, and meeting, meeting our clients where they are and helping them with their sustainability. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that because sustainability has been a consistent theme throughout the day, right? It's not just about dollars and cents anymore, it's about doing the right thing. Absolutely. And travelers want to do the right thing, and so I think they'll do it, they'll go out of their way to support that if that's I, a comp it's, if that's I a, think that's exactly goal, right? right. I think it's, and it is the team, our teams expect it from us, our customers expect it from us, and so, Absolutely. you know, it's all of, all of the people. So how is Uber for Business approaching the business travel experience in this new world we live in? You know, we're, we're thinking hard about um, how do we utilize kind of the push towards electric vehicles. That is a key part of our sustainability commitment. Um, we had a team in Glasgow just this week talking to leaders across the world around our commitments to sustainability and how we play an active role. We've made um, commitments in terms of carbon emissions across our platform um, over the next 10 years and are working hard with dedicated team. Um, we're working not only on electric vehicles, but also understanding how aspects such as micro-mobility um, and other transit solutions also help us meet those goals. Um, so we're, we're definitely looking at all avenues. Excellent. Well, it's an exciting time to be here at this convention. And to help us wrap it up, is there anything else that you would like to add in your closing remarks for Uber for Business to this audience? Yeah, I mean, I think what's also really interesting is when I've been talking to people, the last 18 months or so, the number of new employees at every company is very mm. high. There is a lot of people who joined the businesses whilst we were in a pandemic. They've not met colleagues yet. They've not met their clients yet. They joined during a time when there was no travel. And so I think that's another thing that's gonna be really important over the next six months or so as we begin to get back out on the road. We need to help new people who have joined companies Great figure point. out what is the travel platforms, what are the programs, what are the benefits they can get access and help them understand the way to do that safely, sustainably, and, um, and effectively for, to help meet their goals. So we're looking forward to working with people on, on, on achieving that. Well, you've hit a lot of important points. And again, I think it's uh, very thematic. I heard that over and over throughout the day. So 
Uh, and it sounds like you guys have got some great things happening at Uber for Business. So congratulations thank you on so your much. success and Thank you there. for having me on. Um, thank you for well joining us, Well done getting us, through Susan. a whole day of oh, interviews. <laughs> thank you so much, Susan. You've been wonderful, and it's been uh, nice to have you here with us. Lovely. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. So that's a, it's been a great day, day one here at the GBTA Convention 2021. Um, we heard from a lot of great leaders today. There's a lot of exciting things happening in the industry. And just a couple of common themes that I heard throughout the day was, number one, optimism. Optimism for the future. Business travel is coming back. It may look a little different. We may be doing things differently, but it is coming back. And that's really good news for all of us. The second thing that I heard throughout the day is the importance of personalization for the consumer experience, which is so important. So personalization continues to be important, as does safety. Safety will always be first and foremost, right, in our, in our industry. And the other common theme throughout the day was sustainability. Everybody is focused on sustainability and supporting that effort. And all of these things are great for our business travel industry and our success for recovery. So with that, I want to thank the crew today that helped us out, the GBTA staff. Thank you guys so much. They worked so hard. And that is a wrap for GBTA Broadcast Studio here at the convention in Orlando, Florida. My name is Monisa Klein, and it was a great day. Thank you.